What's going on guys, Pro Fan Apathy back in the building with another video today. I'm very excited to bring you guys some gameplay from our league match yesterday versus LG. I thought, what's better than this? We got some raw footage for you guys today. I'm going to be seeing it from my perspective. So, this is Mind of Apathy Episode 3 where I give strategy and pro tips. And I just, you know, just talk about what I do and why I did it and stuff like that. And lately what I've been doing when I spawn broken side is I flank because I let my three teammates work middle and I flank right away since that side is a little bit harder to break the guy top AC. But now here, the grab ball, one guy's holding middle, I need to rotate left. It's going to be easy read. They obviously want to push it left. They have, we barely have any left controls. a smart play from them. We're over here trying to slay them out. I spawned Palace. I thought, you know, if I spawned mid ramp, I'm just going to hit middle and, and cut back. But if I would have spawned a little bit more farther, like closer to our spawn, I would have rotated back. Spacey gets to play. Gets the one. We kill Space League. Two people are p hitting the left. They're just applying so much pressure right now. We need to try to get these guys out of our base. We need to push out. We barely have any map control. John gets the first kill. I spawn broken. I challenge bottom broken. Saints, Saints is just being a nuisance right now. I call out him one shot. J Cab is trying to chase him down. I believe he starts shooting. John takes him out. All right, my teammates are, are playing for the ball right here. I'm going to play reset. There's only two guys left. Right here, since I rotated early, I get the fourth guy, and it allows me to push up and get map control. There should be no reason why I should push, like, why I should rotate back with my teammates, especially spawning that far up green. So right here, I do die to Saints, unfortunately, trying to get that top AC control, because that's that's a big control. That's something you always want, especially when going for points on the right side. My teammates do a good job of getting three kills. I spawn up. I get the fourth guy. That's four down. We got the top AC control right here. Just They're just going to go for one. I'm just making sure I'm trying to cut off anyone rotating. My teammate dies, so I'm, I'm going to help this guy here. Right here, there's nothing. All I have to do is slay. I have the top AC, which is a power position on this map, on Breach. And, you know, why not just stay here and slay? I'm just over here just jumping around. Trying to get some kills, trying to hold this position because this position is so good. Waiting for my teammates. And this is exactly what you want to do. This is why top AC is so important. We get three dead. I jump out. We're going to try to work a dunk here. So I jump up here. Challenge as soon as he calls it out. Uh, John helps me clean up that kill. Boom. We get a dunk. You guys saw how well I controlled that top AC. I, I did such a good job of holding that position and just helped my teammates out so much and allowed us to get a dunk. I rotate back. They have this pretty much. I try to come help my teammate just to make sure he gets it. Three dead. There's only one guy left. We're going to wrap it left here. We know a guy's middle. We're spawning left. You guys sometimes have to take the long route. It works so well on this map. So we're just going to all rotate far left. We're not going to worry too much about anything else. Right here, we're trying to push up. I think John misses the one. Or it might have been Cap. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm going to rotate back to reset. Now, I see three people shoot, so that means they're mostly all there. I'm trying to cut anyone off. I do have a Mind of War still in my hands. I get taken out by the guy from top AC, but we still did a good job for the most part. You know, we were down, I think, 0-2 at the start, and now we are up 3-2. Spacey does a good job, gets a two-piece on us, which, I mean, I guess it's not that good of a job. I call it the guy bottom broken. I think here I chased him. I'm like, where the fuck did he go? He must have got good timing, got behind John, because he is in. All, he's literally on the portal. But John gets the kill. Right here, we're running 3 ARs, and on this map, you should never be running 3 ARs unless it's off the break. We should be running at least 2 subs or even 3 subs at times. So, John uh, John switches on, on the next side, but, you know, he was running a 3 R. Don't think that running a 3 R is good on this map. It really isn't the best. So, Slasher gets the entry kill here. I decided to push up, you know, just be a nuisance, trying to stay alive. I almost kill Accuracy here. He does take me out since I was one shot, but they do a mistake of throwing the ball out. And Saints did pop his kinetic, but right here, all we have to do is rotate. Now, there's a minute and 10 left. We all want to rotate back. We want to try to get control back of our base. I'm over here in the back just trying to stay alive. You know, I'm one shot. I'm just trying to buy time. My teammates do a good job of just baiting me, and the ball guy only managed to get a one. Uh, right here, I don't know if we cleared him out. All right, Saints gets a big three-piece or two-piece. I don't know what it was. I try to rotate the ball immediately. I do get taken out. And th 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 this is a scary part, like... It's 3-3. They pretty much have a spawn trap, but we're trying to keep you usually, especially if you spawn this far up, guys, you want to rotate back. Please don't be one of those guys that like always, always off spawn. You want to rotate back. I help John get this two piece. I slide in, get the third guy. And now at this point, ball gets alone. He's probably either going to go palace or wrap all the way around left, which is a smart play from him. I EMP ball guy. EMPs are really good, by the way, guys. In uplink, just because it can stop their thrust and like it just slows them down. If they try to go for a two or something, they can't go for it and stuff like that. So JCAT goes huge right there. Kills ball guys. He's wall running. So pretty much stops him. I EMP the other guy. 
I, I, at this point, I EMP, no, nah, yeah, well, he dies either way, but JCAP went huge there, stopped that two-point play, and we just managed to go to the next side, only down by two, which is a really pretty good thing, pretty good thing. So now, we move on to second side. Now, this side is considered a little bit better off the break, because like I said, you had that top AC control, which is pretty much a head glitch, it's really hard to kill that guy, the, the broken guy is hard to kill that guy top AC, so you want to four-man flood this, my teammates do a good job, get throw two, get three, I get ball, last guy's top broken, so I don't. you don't want to run out that front door if you know the guy's top broken, because it gives him a chance to kill you. So I wrap the ball back as you guys saw through the back door, and I'm just here running it. Now my teammate gets the entry kill, I believe they get the guy behind me, I'm like, alright, I have this too. If anything, I throw. I would have thrown them one immediately. It was a little bit greedy, but it was a good play because, look, I tied up the game, I, fall, I just went with my instincts. Now here we get like three dead, I'm just doing a great job of slaying and holding and being a nuisance because right here... I am holding green. It allows my teammates to push up and get a one. Unfortunately, uh, John was left alone. Nobody really went to help him, so he couldn't really get a one. If somebody rotated and went with him earlier, I got the entry kill. There was probably going to be only one more guy top green, and we would have easily got a point there. But that was just a bad play on our part. Here, again, pushing up top green. This is similar to top AC, where I just went top AC and just applying pressure. It's a really similar. It's really good as a sub to just be that nuisance. Be that annoying bug in their base, you know, especially when a a ARs come to, like, confront you and try to kill you. It's so hard because you have a sub in your face. Obviously, it's not impossible, but it's, it's a lot harder. Right here, I get double teamed. I die, and I just call out the Gwen Palace. My teammates are doing a good job of trying to get these kills. We have to have, especially as a sub, you have to push out that top AC because if a sub's up there and AR's trying to push that out, he's going to die. Right here, they mess up. They try to go for, like, a really far one, and then they miss. I kill the kinetic guy, and John dies, but I do trade the kill. I tell him we spawned out, so be careful where you're running the ball. He's just holding it right side right now. I believe they get rushed. I see nothing bottom lab. I try to go help my teammate immediately. Good thing he threw it out. I get the first kill. The second guy has an AR, so I couldn't clean him up. Now, at this, at this point, we still need to slay. This is our main goal right here. We need to get them out of our base, right? We have almost no AC control. They call out a guy bottom, but, you know, I got to focus the left. They're just going to run it. I think they all end up flooding through the bottom lab, which was actually pretty crazy. But at least I got two kills. I believe that was two kills. So I actually got one. So the last guy's on ball. John does kill him. He did a pretty good play of throwing the ball bottom broken. Even though it, it takes it closer to their base, if a teammate's there, you know, it can really, it just it helps them like to kill ball guy. So right here, John's going for the, the wall run one. He nails it. I, I see my teammates already green. I try to wrap back to new ball. Unfortunately, I die, but Slasher picks up the kill. Now, right here at this point, they need to rotate back, but, you know, they all end up dying, I believe. Yeah, so I have to I have to be the, the knight in shining armor. I have to push this left side. I almost outgun Scythe, which would have been so huge, but I say he's weak. I tell Slasher to just pre-aim with the AR because the uh, MA could usually kill the Scythe long range, especially if you're pre-aiming and he's weak. So Slasher does a good job of picking up the kill. Uh, John gets a kill. I think Cap gets a kill. That's three dead. I, I thought I EMP ball guy, but I just EMP John by accident. Right here, again, pushing green as a sub. Just very easy to get these kills. Lamar jumps right out over me, which is accuracy, but I still managed to clean up the kill. Then someone else grabs the ball, threw it out. I'm like, okay. So I try to come here. I try to get one. The other guy's weak, but I know I have to reload. He has to reload, so I'm just trying to play my life. There's two of them. Right here, I'm just being a nuisance. I'm trying to stay alive, trying to slay again like I did at top green the other time before in top AC. But my teammates decide to rotate ball, and, you know, I, I decide to go help them cut them off. I do get TP, and I call out the last guy bottom broken, which pretty much guarantees my teammate a two. Take cap almost choked that. That would have been so bad because he ran out of thrust, and he had to jump again. But we managed to get that two. Now, right here, EP ball guy, which is really good. Like I said, it slows down ball guy a little bit. I chase ball guy before he can go to one for the time one. I just grab ball accidentally, throw it off right away. I'll gun accuracy, just getting these guys off my base. I know I have kinetic, so I'm being aggressive. Get the third guy, reload YY, and kill the fourth guy. So I get the four piece to pretty much stop the ball push twice, actually, because that guy could have got a one. They could have tied it twice right there, but I did a good job of just, you know, playing smart and just using my kinetic to my advantage. So right here, we get one down, two down. We're still by one, but we still we want to rack up points. John does a good job, gets a two piece. I just want to play reset right here. So me and Slash are just going to play reset. You know, if they get a point, they get a point. But we do not want to give them any more points. I throw EP Palace. I call out Slasher, you know, watch my back. Right here, all we have to do is buy time. So first thing, my instinct was get ball out of there. 
wrap it back to our base. Right here, I try to 15 it to pretty much end the game, and I choked that so bad. I've never 15 it up there, but that was a, a pretty bad throw. And, you know, I just re I'm not saying I, I only went big, but I did have a really clutch play to stop them from getting any points twice. And overall, you know, I played the map really well with the sub. You know, I, I hope you guys really learned some new things and just how to control the map as a sub. And always remember to apply that pressure. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy Apti, and I'm out.